Hey guys, this is William here. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to expand or increase your Google My Business proximity. Been hearing a lot of rumors lately about Google Business Profile or Google My Business decreasing your proximity and keeping you around basically two and a half miles. I want to let you know that's a bunch of BS. It's not true, at least for my clients. And what we're doing is building out location and proximity using our WordPress plugin. If you don't know me, my name is William. If you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe bell notification below. You don't want to miss anything we have on this channel because we're always dropping golden nuggets. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I built out this plugin. If you're unaware with it, you go to rankfortress.com, go to our GMB tools. We have the plugins in here. It is the location page or geocentric plugin. Before this plugin, we used to load it up and what would happen is anytime it pulled data from your Google My Business or Google Maps API, it would cost you credits. After so many credits to pull that information, it charges you. Now the way we got it set up is it pulls it once from whatever city you're in and then doesn't have to pull it again because it loads it into a database. All right, so it loads that information into a database. If we have hundreds of people using it, so it pulls from it, only does it once, and then doesn't have to do it every time someone goes to that location page plugin and loads it up or builds out a quote unquote new city if that city has been pulled before. So let's say, for example, and I'm going to remove this, we've already installed the plugin, and in this case, we want to create a new location. All we're going to do is hit the plus icon. You see over here where it says geocentric. We've installed the plugin. Once we've installed the plugin, we go over settings. We put in our Google API code. We also then go to license setting and put in our license. Once we're done with that, we go back to geocentric. We hit the plus icon. We choose the country. And in this case, we're going to go with the beautiful state of Texas. And then we're going to go with Austin because that's the city we're building out this page for. And today we're really just gonna build out everything before you go Austin. It's gonna give you every single one of the main neighborhoods inside of Austin. If you don't want a neighborhood, you delete it and it's no longer gonna be there or you leave it, right? These are all the neighborhoods and areas. And then once we do that, we can type in our Google API or not our API, but our Google Maps ID. If you don't have your Google Maps ID, you can use your street address and zip code. Then hit submit. Once you hit submit, you're going to say, it's going to say not available. You're going to be going, oh my God, Bill, it's not available. But you know, you click this little right icon, you hit set primary location, right? You want to set it as the primary location. Whatever your primary city is on that page, that's what you want to set as the primary location. Now it still says not available. You're still panicking like, oh my God, it doesn't work. Nope, you go over here, you go import data. Now Rank Tools is going to import the data. Import the data means it's now pulled in all the information. Now if I wanna look at the short codes, what do I want? Do I want the weather? Do I want the about the neighborhood? Do I want the about the area? Do I want the neighborhoods? Do I want things to do? What do I want? I get it. Ah! Got it. If I don't want all of them, I don't have to use them all. Then I just go copy all components, right? Let's go back out of here. And I go over here to Austin and I hit, let's say, edit page. And you see it already has all the other information on, but what we want to do is we want to add in, if you will, our information or our short codes. We go down here literally drop it in right here you can do it a couple of ways i generally will do it with a paragraph um, that's just me um, you can also do it another way of doing it is you do short codes you type in short code if you will and then those are all your short codes and then you hit update once i hit update i go back to view the page and I scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And now what do you know? It's got the weather. It's got about Austin, all this lovely information about Austin, the population, 
all the information under the sun that you could think of, the main county, the largest cities, all that information has your locations or neighborhoods in Austin, okay? If you were to click on any one of these, it opens it up in Austin, right? Austin, Austin, Austin. So I'll pop up everything. This is in round, you know, Cedar Park. Wherever it's at, any of the vicinities that are in that area, it's gonna pop up with it. These are all in Austin. Austin and Round Rock is actually near Austin. Then you got your things to do, places to go. The other cool thing is, the other one did not do an open in a separate window. Now this one opens in a separate window. These are all tied to the Google business listings. Then if I come coming down, coming down, it has the Austin map. Then I also have driving directions from, if you will, your competition to your GMB from your competition to their GMB or various streets in the area. It's only showing one review because there's only one review for this location, all right? Also, if you go in back into the geocentric plugin and we look at this, I wanted to show you guys this because this is another big change as well. We also have design aspects, okay? If you click on weather, what's the background color? What's the text color? You can actually change what you want. The font sizes, font weight, everything. Neighborhoods, what's the font size, weight, everything. You can change all of this information so it allows a map embeds. Driving direction, font weight. It gives you the ability to change some things that in the last time it did not. So, if you guys have any questions whatsoever about the Geocentric plugin, want to purchase it, make sure to click the link in the description below so you can purchase it. If you're not a GMB Pro, this is all the more reason to become a GMB Pro. As a GMB Pro, you get all the access. Go to my website, rankfortress.com, hit SEO courses, go to GMB Pros. It gives you access to all past courses, current courses, future courses, and all my tools that I currently have, which are location page, advanced schema, and the VA time clock, etc., etc. And it's only $97 a month to be a part of it. And you get access to all of those different things. It's worth it. We have about a thousand students currently. If you're a current GMB Pro, you're going to want to submit a support ticket and say, hey, I want that new plug in. And we'll get it right over to you. And we'll get it hooked up for you. Um, this is going to be, if you will, the SOP on how to do it. I also have a regular SOP that's step by step in documentation on how to get your Google API, how to configure it, etc., etc. I hope this helps you out. I could tell you this everybody that uses our proximity plugin loves it and they're expanding their proximities. We've had people that literally just use the proximity plugin or an advanced schema plugin and their rankings go from almost nowhere to way up here and their rankings are climbing and doing better every day. And I've had people that have done nothing but that in their rankings increase. On top of it, we use it on every one of our clients. We have hundreds of clients. And when we use it on their site and build these out and build out these pages, their proximity goes from, you know, two and we start every one of our clients at two and a half miles and get them to five, then to 10, depending on what industry they're in. We even have some that are 40 miles outranked and 100 miles outranked in Google My Business three pack. So don't believe what people are telling you. Don't believe their lies and garbage. Make sure to comment below. Say, hey, I want that plugin and I'll get this over to you. I appreciate you guys. You guys be blessed and have a great day. And until next time, I'll see you then. I have so many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitching and cry, labeling me SEO Black Hatter was a nobody. Now I'm at the top. Most wanted, most loved.